Well, another field is done. Ready for soybeans. Well, I wonder just how long Ohio Edison is going to let that pull like that. That pull ain't even holding nothing up. It's just, you know, there for looks. More or less. It's just for looks. So the question is, when are they gonna get off their butts and do something about it? Because one of these times, I might catch it with the tool, with the tillage tool or the uh, hay tool or something. I might bring it the rest of the way down because they're too freaking lazy to get out here and do something about the darn thing. That's the way it is with everything and everyone. Nobody wants to work or do anything no more. And it's quite aggravating. Oh yeah. So yeah, 835R, 865R, $40, $42,000, and I ain't making this up, there it is, I'm not stretching the truth or nothing like that. Well, I just don't see it where $42,000 is possible to squeeze out of one of these things, other than uh, they have this is all reconfigured into a fancy touch screen you got umpteen thousand sensors backup cameras blah 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 um i don't even think they got power windows for forty two thousand dollars but you know i'm not buying one I will not be buying a brand new Gator. I will not be doing it. Um, I will uh, be buying a used one, if anything, because it's all the more that I can afford. Forty-two thousand, stupid, if you ask me. Just for a Gator. Well, there he goes with the seventy-eight hundred and the drill, and I got the 7810 and the Salford and I'm going to go work soybean ground again oh yay we're gonna have to work this field twice uh, get all that manure over there worked in Salford does a real good job of uh, working ground for planting soybeans and uh, working all the trash in from like spread manure and stuff like that it just it does a really really good job of working all that stuff in the ground I guess I should have went so slow and spread manure I should have kicked it up to like maybe six gear or so I gotta work the field twice over again, but I think uh, I think we're gonna work it again anyhow, just to to get it nice and dry to um, put corn in. You gotta take and break the wet spots open, like right in through here, um, so that when uh, you get done working the field, that start drying and uh, we can plant it it's just you know the name of the game you gotta tear the wet spots open if you see them avoid the really really bad ones and then uh, because if you don't avoid try to at least try to tear the wet spots apart um, 
you know, you'll never really get anything accomplished. So you at least got to try and tear them apart so that they can dry. Yeah, just like that one right there, that's always, uh, that's always a wet spot. They might do it down here and it might not, where it'll start to, it'll start to want to spin. Nope, it's not going to do it. Where it will uh, want to spin, you pick your hydraulics up. I'm not even going to attempt to go through that because that is just a quagmire. So I'm going to do my ends off and then we are going to go back that away. Spinning. Not really spinning, but I think just pulled it right through it. So, what we're going to do. need to pull our wings up anyhow to make it through the gate that's right back on the lever is back on the uh, it's up for the wings so yeah the joys of waiting for hydraulics to do their thing Heck with it, it ain't over all the way, but such is life. We got to go and go through the gate. We will. Oh, you went the wrong way. Darn it. Thought I'd be able to do this while I was moving. But apparently not. Eh, kind of am. Set that hand throttle. do some deep limbing around here of trees because trees are pain in the butt that's the wet spot there he was telling me to to a or void a little bit of paint on the the draw bar but eh, that's all right it happens it's one of them things that's unavoidable is rubbing paint there, just like in this corner that I got myself into you feel it spin so you pick the weight up so you keep the tractor moving get where you need to go drop the thing down and you're good to go for the most part yeah now we're getting her done got this field done do my ends off here all the way over there, life will be good. Yeah. Life is already good. Because I got God on my side. Still not going to disclose what the other thing is that has happened in my life. And I'm an American. We'll just go with that route. Yup, yup, yup. Well, I'm just going to 
uh, be quite frank and honest with you is because like that 7800 yeah I know it tops out at like 150 or so horse but you need all the horsepower and your tractor that you can get when pulling a tillage tool of this size, the Salford vertical tillage tool, um, through the field because, uh, let's say, you go up a slight grade, uh, you know, go up a slight grade and it's kind of kind of pulling a little hard with the 7800 well you need all the tractor you can get to maintain traction because these tillage tools are heavy they are heavy heavy okay and you need all the tractor you can get now hi john you're saying 200 do we got nah it wasn't handling it wouldn't handle a Salford, it's too heavy for it. That's why I say the there's like a 20 horsepower difference between this 7810 and the 7800. Uh, that's all there is, is a 20 horsepower difference. But, you know, this one does the job and it does it ever so nicely. Yeah, there's a couple flaws that I have with it, but it is what it is. So, yeah. Let's go ahead up to the front now. We're done. Yeah, we might as well work our way out of the field. We don't leave no tire tracks. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's so much nicer knowing that you got all the more tractor than your tool can handle. It's just so much nicer knowing that than get out in the field and go, start going upgrades or whatnot and be like, Oh crap, is this tractor going to handle my tool? Well, that's why we like the 7 to 8, 10 on that. We just do.